What's up guys, Jav here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video, we're actually taking a look at PC settings. Destiny 2 has had some performance issues since the launch of Beyond Light, and I get a lot of questions about my settings, frame rates, and all those good things. So in this video, we're going to break absolutely everything down to show you how you can get the best performance out of Destiny 2 on PC. Now if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. Or if you're new here and you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, as we said in the intro, since the launch of Beyond Light, there's been many performance issues within Destiny 2, mainly on PC, regardless of the hardware that you're running. Now, I'm running a 2080 Ti, 32 gigabytes worth of RAM, and an i7 8060K processor. I'll leave a full list of my specs down in the video description below. So if you want to compare yours versus mine, be sure to do so if you're having some performance issues. Now before we jump into the game and have a look at the settings, there's a few settings we need to look at on the PC itself before we even consider making some amendments. Now as you can see here we are on the desktop. Now the first thing we're going to look at is called the game bar. Now you can find this by just searching game down on the toolbar there and we're looking for the game mode specifically. Now if you guys haven't seen game mode or aren't aware of this setting, now by having this active, what this does is prevents Windows updates from performing driver installations and sending restart notifications whilst you're playing games. It also helps to achieve a more stable frame rate depending on the specific game and your system. So if you don't have this active, it's worth switching on. But something to consider switching off is the Xbox Game Bar. Now if you're like me and run an Nvidia graphics card, Shadow Play is the most best way to capture footage as you're playing Destiny 2. However, the Xbox Game Bar replicates a lot of this, it allows you to do things like record game clips, chat with friends, receive game notifications, and it's useful if you're playing with friends on Xbox and running your game through your PC. So if that's the case, then you want to keep it switched on. But if you're not doing that, then Shadow Play and Xbox Game Bar do the same thing. So you might as well switch this off if you're using the other one. So with those few settings changed out the way, we're going to jump into the Nvidia control panel. Now, if you don't have this, you can access it through the GeForce Experience or you can download it separately so you can right click on your desktop to access it. But we're going to look at the 3D settings specifically. Now, these settings are applied to any game that I play, not just Destiny 2. But these settings will allow you to get the most out of your rig, regardless of the game that you're playing. If you want a full rundown of my settings, I'll leave a link to those down in the video description below. Now, the main ones we're going to cover off here are things like ambient occlusion, which is switched off. This adds realism to scenes by reducing the light intensity off surfaces uh, but destiny is actually quite a good looking game overall and you can actually improve some performance by having some of these switched off the same can be said for anti-aliasing that can be switched off even the fxaa alongside this we have transparency is switched off cuda is all now this allows you to specify which gpus can be used for any cuda applications including physics x this is good for games but also things like premiere and audition if you're into content creation so make sure to have all your gpus if you have multiple gpus selected here DSR I have as off, uh, low latency mode is off as well. Now this actually reduces the latency by limiting the amount of frames the CPU can prepare before the frames are processed by the GPU. Now all the processing we want to try and make happen on the GPU, whilst Destiny is a CPU intensive game, we want to be trying to limit the amount of CPU usage to improve the game's performance. Now here we have max frame as well, we've got that to off. Monitor technology, I've got a G-Sync, I've got a G-Sync monitor that you can set this to different options you have things like fixed refresh and ulmb as well so this will automatically change depending on the setting that you have based on your monitor if you haven't got g-sync this will be automatically be set to fixed refresh from here we've got power management mode now this is a key one now i've got this set to optimal power this feature allows you to set a preference for your graphics card's performance level whilst running 3d applications obviously if you want good performance that's all well and good, but you want the best power and frames coming from your GPU. So as a result, you most definitely want to have this set to optimal power and your preferred refresh rate to the absolute highest available. You want to make sure that it's not being capped out in any way and isn't being controlled by any caps that are being applied inside the game. Now, server cache is on. Now, Destiny actually has had a few performance issues, most notably around some of the changes to the lighting. Bungie did fix that in a recent update, but actually you can improve the performance of Destiny by actually switching that off. So if you have that on, you can switch it off here, but be aware this is on your global settings page. So this will apply to all your games in your library. If you only want to apply it to Destiny though, you can go in the program setting 
and find Destiny specifically and therefore apply it to only Destiny 2. I'm going to put it in my global settings for ease so it doesn't take up too much time but it's definitely something worth considering especially due to some of the more recent issues. Now here a lot of these textures are either off or allow. Quality is set to quality. We want any textures to be of high quality inside Destiny 2 but not too high to the point they detriment performance. So quality is a good middle ground. Now before we leave the Nvidia control panel another thing to consider is your resolution but also your frame rate. Now I'm running a 1440p monitor so I'm therefore running that as my preferred resolution and I can overclock my monitor up to 165 hertz but normally you'll see 144 hertz. And what I have found here is when I first got this monitor my refresh rate was defaulted to just 60. So regardless of all the hardware inside my rig and the settings that I would apply I could only ever really see 60 frames per second which don't get me wrong is very good especially for console gaming but when you have a monitor that can go up to 165 hertz and up to over 144 frames you want to be making the most of that where possible so be sure to come here double check your resolution the higher the resolution the more resources is that's going to use on your cpu and your gpu but make sure your refresh rate is applicable to the refresh rate of your monitor if it's 60 hertz it's 60 hertz if it's 144 hertz or higher be sure to come here to change it to make sure you're not missing out on those key extra frames now with those amendments out of the way we can finally jump into the game if we head to settings and video we get all our video settings for destiny 2. now the key part here is to try and match them the best we can to the nvidia settings that we had on the desktop now starting here we have windowed full screen this isn't the optimal option the optimal one is actually full screen this will help reduce some of the latency in the game it shouldn't affect your frame rates too much i use windowed full screen because i have discord and second and third monitors so depending on your setup choose the correct one but full screen will give you the better overall performance here i've got 1440p which matches my resolution and my v-sync is off because i have a frame cap on which is capped out at 144 hertz which is the original frame rate for my monitor so here my gpu is not overworking which means i have headroom which should help provide a overall smoother gameplay experience now with our field of view i have a hundred it does go up to 105 you will want to experiment with this a little bit because the more field of view you have so more of the game that you can see at any one time the more gpu and vram you'll need to produce that you can alternate the values of this and experiment with the values of the render resolution down here so if you have a high fov and then having some performance issues you can slightly lower the render resolution i wouldn't go any less than 90 though as you might start impacting the visual fidelity of the game to so experiment with both of those it's a little bit of a um, balancing act but once you find the perfect balance between fav and render resolution you should have a overall good looking game if we move down to the main settings as you can see a lot of these are either off or low the ones that are off are off because they are off in the nvidia control panel so you want to try and match those the best you can and if they are low it's because they either use up a lot of vram or they don't influence the look of the game too much so we've got anti-aliasing is off and ambient occursion is off much like in the nvidia control panel texture quality is high again the same as the control panel shadow quality is low this doesn't matter too much it doesn't actually look too different in game between high and low so it might as well use less vram and get a overall better experience depth of field is off it's not really needed in an fps game especially when you ads your weapons anyway and it actually uses unnecessary vram and the same can be said for things like motion blur and whilst that does help in some instances in providing a smoother experience in some experiences it can be quite jarring and even cause motion sickness so i would turn depth of field and motion blur off and you'll be freeing up a lot of vram for your gpu and should have better frame rates as a result now detail for environmental distance character and foliage are all set to low because it doesn't matter too much on a monitor and these are the lowest settings we have for here so these are set to medium for foliage and light shaft so you can't switch them off but you can switch them to medium at least and in the final bottom section here we have the render resolution that we briefly spoke about chromatic aberration we have that switched off and film grain is also switched off to show a cleaner destiny 2 than if we were switched on so that's a quick look at what my video settings are and as i said a lot of them will match the nvidia control panel it's important to make sure that they do and where they don't they only really need to be on low or medium it's only really texture quality that needs to be high now with those being said we can apply those and we can jump into the game and see what sort of frame rates we're getting 
So here we are in the Trostland. This is the most graphically intensive area on the European dead zone. We get currently between 80 and 90 FPS in and around this area. There's a lot of buildings, foliage and enemies. So it does use a lot of CPU and VRAM as a result. So there we are guys, a quick breakdown of my settings and a few settings that you can change to help improve your overall Destiny experience. If you have enjoyed this video though, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. Or if you're new here, which 80% of you are, as 80% that watch these videos aren't currently subscribed to the channel, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. Now I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.